This is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's online book, Learn Python the Hard Way. Start by going to his book, learnpythonthehardway.org, and then clicking on this link, read the free HTML online. That'll take you to the table of contents. In this video, we're going to be looking at exercise 29 called What If. If you click on that, it'll take you to this. And what we're going to be doing here is we're introducing conditionals or if statements. And it's a pretty simple process. It's similar to what we've done with defining functions, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Let me start by going to Text Wrangler or whatever text editor you're going to use, and I'll show you them bit by bit. The first thing we enter are three different variables. The first is called people, and it is assigned the value of 20. Cats is assigned the value of 30, and the variable dogs is assigned the value of 15. So that's pretty straightforward, three numeric variables. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, creating several if statements, and the structure is similar to uh, def for defining functions. You have a colon at the end of the first line, then you indent to indicate the block. So for instance, our first if statement says, if people less than cats, and remember, because these are variables, what it's asking is if the number that is assigned to people is less than the number that is assigned to cats. In this case, uh, there's 20 is the value for people and 30 is the value for cats. 20 is less than 30, that's true. So it will print the next command. If it's not true, it skips it and ignores it. So what it's going to do is it's gonna to print to the console, too many cats, the world is doomed. If on the other hand, there were more people than cats, which is not the case because 20 is not more than 30, so it will skip this, it won't print it, but if the numbers were different, it would say, not many cats, the world is saved. If the number of people is less than the number of dogs, it would print the world is drooled on, but 20 is not less than 15, it's false, so it skips this statement. Remember, the first line we have here is, is a truth test. It says, if this is true, then do the rest of the stuff in the block, otherwise skip it completely. So this one will get skipped. If people greater than dogs, so if the value that's in the variable people, and that value is 20, is greater than the value that's in the variable dogs, which is 15, and 20 is greater than 15, so it will print, it'll say the world is dry. Then we're gonna do an increment. Now there's a few different ways of doing this. This is uh, the way that um, Zed had it written. Dogs equals 15 plus five equals 20, or actually we're just doing it, dogs plus equals five. Sorry, this is how Zed did it. And it's equivalent to saying this. It's the same as saying dogs equals dogs plus five, but it's a shortcut for incre incrementing. And you can also do minus equals, times equals, divides equals, etc. And it's, it's an easier way to increment things. All right, so then we have a few more truth tests. Now we've changed the value of dogs. It was 15, we've added five, so now it's 20, which by the way is the same as the number of people. So the first truth test here is if people is greater than or equal to dogs, then do the following. And since the numbers are now both 20, they are equal. So it'll print people are greater than or equal to dogs. That's going to print because 20 equals 20. If people are less than or equal to dogs, and again, 20 is in both of them, so this will print. It'll say people are less than or equal to dogs. That'll print over here in the console. Finally, if people, and then the two equals is asking, it's a logical test, is it exactly equal to what's over here? And again, it's not asking about the text, it's not asking about the word people and the word dogs, because those are variables. It's asking about the numbers or the values that are stored in that. And at the moment, it's digits on both of them, it's numerical variables, and there's a value of 20 in each of them. So this will print, and it will say, people are dogs. And that's all there is to that one. So let me just come over here. I'm in the terminal and I've got scripts as my active folder. There it is. And all I need to do is come down here to exercise 29. You can see the text right there is what I got. And I run that. I run it by typing Python in lowercase, exercise 29.py, that's the name of the file. And when I hit that, it just runs through and it does the truth test. The variables got created and it started doing the truth test. The ones that it printed, are this one, because there are more cats than people or fewer people than cats, so it would print that one. That's our first line right there. 
The second line comes from right here. It's because the number of people is greater than the number of dogs. And then the next three lines all happen because after the increment, uh, you see, so for instance, these, these ones up here, when we were doing these, the value for dogs was 15. Let me see. There we go. But here we incremented it to make it add to five to make it 20. So for the next three, the value in people is 20 and the value in dogs is 20. So yes, it's, it's greater than or equal to and less than or equal to and exactly equal to. And that's how it works. And so that is our first exercise with if statements, which you're going to encounter about a million times. And so it's great to get a little practice and get comfortable with them. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.